I'm just gonna make a real quick video here to let you all know to not do not buy any IPS 4k TV especially LG the UK line or the UJ line or even SJ I even had a SJ 8000 or 800 or whatever the hell it was back then um, you're gonna get bad IPS glow bad uniformity issues light bleeding depending on uh, you're just gonna get light bleeding no words can describe um, what bad IPS glow like I mentioned you can still see it probably with your lights on in the daytime or really it's worse at dark time in a dark room. And that's why I don't recommend. You're just not going to have a good experience. I just returned my LG UK 6090. So I'm strictly going to be staying with VA panels. If you don't know what a VA panel is, look up VA on YouTube. VA TV panel, 4K panel. Uh, there's a good video too. You can look up BenQ uh, VA versus IPS. Watch that video. You can see. That's a good video. Like you know what VA is all about, how good they are. This is going to give you better blacks, rich blacks, detail, everything, colors. Just it's gonna perform better. I mean, just stay away from TN panels, IPS panels, and and don't go buy the new nano cell technology. And all. I got fooled into that, and it still looked the freaking same. Bad IPS glow and all. Yeah, you're gonna get good colors. You're gonna get good viewing angles, but that's all you're gonna get. It's going to look washed out, dim, not as bright as you want it. And even, even if you uh, lower your brightness down or you lower, you turn off the energy saving or you, you turn your uh, black level high or you know it still looks crappy at low. It's just going to look grayish, bad uniformity. It's just not going to look natural. It's just going to look too... Not even, I can't even say saturated because saturated is like vivid, but beyond where the colors just look too much. Uh, your grades are going to look just horrible. It's pretty much almost going to look like sandpaper. You ever go fishing and the water looks mercury? That's what it's going to look like when you lower the brightness down on the IPS. Try to get the blacks to look good. And it, no matter if you go down white, it still looks mercury. You're, there's nothing you could do to get it to, the brightness to look good. Like, wow. It's just going to look dim, dull, the whole nine yards. Uh, I'm going to probably stick with the Samsung. Probably get a better Samsung. I already had a couple other Samsung 4K TVs and all. Check my channel. Out. All my 4K W, uh, 4K TVs and stuff. I was about to say WWE. You can check all my WWE events also. Um, yeah, all my 4K TVs I've done in the past. Yeah, I've gone all the way down to KSC thousand. You name it. Um, yeah, I just try to give a. The IPS uh, another chance to try and see how good the UK line is, and and it's not even it wasn't even edge lit because I know edge lit stay away sometimes from edge lit some edge lit TVs are good but stay away from edge lit if you can always go back lit full array local dimming or whatever and plus more zones the more better um, I try to stay away from TCL. It just, I don't know, I just don't like TOS and TCO. I had a bad experience. I've had the R series and 4K TV and all. But, um, 
And I just don't like they have a like this purple pinkish tint to it, and it's annoying on PC. Where Samsung, it's just balance. You don't get none of that nonsense. Um, yeah, I recommend if you want, if you're wanting on a budget, just get the NU seven seventy seventy one hundred. Or the NU6900, which I had. Uh, I'm done buying IPS panels. Never more will I buy another IPS. I bought Philips IPS before. I don't think I did a video of that. Which was garbage. So, I had the UJ6300, but that came broken. The whole panel was broke, so I didn't do a video of that. And then it's backlit, not edge lit. But then this UK... UK 6090 was backlit and it still didn't do nothing it didn't fix the make the wax look so good and all just didn't give me that good experience so stay away from any IPS panel it don't matter if it's 4k or 1080p stay away from IPS and TN panels you're going to be luckily be more happier with VA panels or VA, whatever new technology VA they make, you'll be happy. And uh, always research 4K ratings, display, monitor, TV, whatever websites you can find. Display4k.com or, you know, just research before you buy. Don't make a bad purchase. Uh, I. Just alone, I I would think a Hitchy, a Hachi or whatever you call that brand would be better than that uh, LG UK 6090 49-inch I had. And those have VA panels. Most Samsung are all VA panels. Anything from 7 Series up should have VA panels. But you got to watch out on some of the Mari Edge lit, so be careful. Uh, Vizio is good too. There's a couple other uh, High Sense. I want to try that out. That new High Sense uh, H9, probably the Plus, or I had the HC. HC that was pretty good too, for the budget. <coughs> Blacks, everything looks good on it. I had a couple QLEDs. I had the Q6. Then I wanted to try out something else. But uh, enough talking about what TVs I had. Just stay away from my IPS. They're a no-go. Don't ever buy into the IPS or TM panel line. Especially IPS. And it don't matter if it's for 4K or 1080p. I would even say just go get a plasma. If you could find one on Craigslist or somewhere. Then get a T IPS panel. But um... Or any of these cheaper 4K TVs that are going to have VA panels would be a lot better than the IPS you decide to choose from Walmart, Best Buy, Amazon, eBay, whatever you name it, B and H, oh, whatever Brandsmart. And be careful with some of these third-party sellers. Make sure they have a return policy. Make sure you can return. Uh, you're not stuck with something like dead weight. If it comes broken or, or has problems. So make sure you look at the reviews. And if they got a good review. Or whatever on them. Because there's a lot of scams during the holidays. But uh, enough said. I don't trust any IPS. Just horrible. Bad experience. Just You're just not going to like it. But you'll have a good one.